In time, some new information right now. In a horrific animal cruelty case on Indy's east side, police say a dog was hanged, stabbed, and tossed into a garbage can just days after being adopted from a local shelter. Fox 59's Jesse Wells dug into the court records for more on what happened. We want to warn you, some of the details are very graphic. According to court records, police were called here to the home behind me by at least two witnesses who saw the dog being stabbed and hung from the porch. Now some are wondering what can possibly be done to try to prevent a crime like this from ever happening again. This two-year-old dog named Darren was adopted from Indianapolis Animal Care Services in late July. Just nine days later, police were called to this home on North Bozart after neighbors saw the animal being stabbed and suffocated. This affidavit claims Zeke Thompson stabbed the dog while it was strung up by the neck with a bag over its head. It's just heartbreaking. I have no idea what would drive someone to hurt an animal like that. Elaine organized this petition calling for mandatory background checks to prevent people with a violent criminal history from adopting animals. The city of Indianapolis needs to have some sort of checks and balances in place for adopters of dogs when it comes to violent offenses. IACS said in a statement, we are heartbroken over this situation and added, prior to any animal leaving our building, staff checks each adopter or foster to see if they have a history of animal related violations. While Thompson didn't have a history of animal cruelty, a check of my case shows he was charged with a violent domestic assault last year and eventually pleaded guilty to resisting law enforcement. What happened to Darren is not IACS's fault. It is the city of Indianapolis' fault. We have failed him and multiple dogs over and over again due to overcrowding, lack of funding. Court records also claim when officers arrived at Bosart, they found the dog dead in a trash can near the alley behind the home and two women were cleaning the front porch. One of those women, Sierra Macon, was arrested for allegedly punching the officer in the face, then biting his wrist hard enough to draw blood. Prosecutors asked for a 72-hour continuance before filing formal charges. In the meantime, both arrested suspects are due in court for initial hearings later this week. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Now, along with the two arrested suspects, police say two other people were home at the time that dog was killed. Those two have not yet been arrested or charged with the crime. Whitestown